Hello, it's my birthday today. So yay. Uh, anyways, more importantly, so I just wanted to do a quick video um, because <laughs> I don't even know the last time that we had so much um, Mercury ruled energy, aka Gemini uh, and or Virgo, like we've had the last couple of days. And uh, for me, it was hitting me really hard and I found it very difficult to sleep. So I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> make this video in the hopes that maybe it could help some people to navigate this uh, and some really good news too. So I think first, uh, before we get into ooh, where to begin, I think uh, first, you know, the last trends video I did talked a lot about all this stuff too. So if you want more information, I really recommend it. Um, but today, the good news is moon moves into the region of space known as Libra in about maybe an hour maybe a couple hours something like that but it's it's imminent and that's going to put us out of this intense t-square uh, where we've been for the last couple days uh with the moon influencing overthinking all the gemini influencing overthinking and then the pisces influencing perhaps emotions being scattered or coming to the foreground again none of these are bad energies there's no such thing as bad energy it's just when certain energies happen at the same time as other energies it takes us in a lot of different directions at once and it can be very overwhelming um, and i think the big thing was for like myself and i think for many other people uh, overthinking uh the last couple of days so i think the big thing with that so you know, anyways f first things first so this weekend should help a lot with that we're not going to be seeing another like confluence of mercury ruled energy I don't even think maybe maybe until September and even then I don't know if it's going to be as this intense. Um, there's a lot of great things about this. The ability to give and receive information is fantastic at this time. Um, the ability to have great conversations that are really fun and lively and as well as being entertaining. I'm sorry, as well as being interesting. So entertaining and interesting and thought provoking is really great at this time. Um, but uh, and especially for this weekend too, moon's going into Libra. So a lot of really good. There's a lot of good air energy out there to again to be able to talk and have a nice, uh, a nice time while sharing some really important information. And I think, lastly, you know, as per the overthinking thing, and this is something that we have to be mindful of for the next year, no matter who we are, no matter um, what season it is, of what other energies are at play. Jupiter is in Gemini, and already, you know uh that overthinking potential again i think for everybody is particularly uh been particularly challenging the last couple of days if not awesome that that's beautiful that means that you're in balance with your body and and your heart and um your mind and and if you did overthink like i did that's okay too that's awesome too you know as part of our experience as long as, long as we're just seeking to learn and grow and and um figure it out as we go along that's that's perfectly okay but yeah i think the big thing with jupiter gemini is and especially at this time too even though the moon's moving on into libra um we are seeing a ton of gemini energy for another about four to six days depending on how you look at it and um overthinking again is going to be really a, a potential challenge for the next year so long story short the key is to balance out all that Gemini with some Sagittarius energy. Now, I mean, being around Sagittarians can definitely help, but I'm talking about inner balance, finding the other pieces of the puzzle within ourselves to find balance. Now, what do I mean by this? Sagittarius as well as Pisces. What I mean by this is to find when our brain is being so overactive and trying to figure things out. And, and again, it can be a very positive thing too. Part of why I was staying up was not just anxiety, which was definitely a huge part of it. And, you know, the following information I'm about to, I was about to get to and I'm coming full circle to helps a lot with that tremendously. But, um, oh gosh, now I lost train of thought. Hold on. Uh, oh, but the other thing is I, I've been spending each day learning so much and growing so much, um, specifically learning songs. So it's been extremely stimulating but that makes it very difficult to sleep because i'm all wired you know so uh this isn't necessarily a bad thing that the mind is being so active but the, p the potential for it to be overactive is definitely rife and again this is something we got to keep in mind for the next year so my point being what is sagittarius and pisces about it is about in so many ways faith seeing the bigger picture um 
and it doesn't matter where you are spirituality as like per what your spirituality is but finding you know i i i feel you know the the word god universe cosmic consciousness our higher selves you know all i see all of that is as one um, i mean our higher selves are just a part of of god or the universe but in my spiritual view and i'm never here to tell people what to believe or what not to believe i'm not here to preach or whatever but it doesn't matter really what our spiritual view is spirituality is seeing beyond ourselves and understanding the limits of the human brain um it's finding a peace it's funny it's finding a peace in understanding our piece of the overall universal infinite jigsaw puzzle of life of the universe of god again however you want to put it um, these are certainly terms i use all the time um and finding uh finding solace there and you know for me just speaking from my spiritual view knowing that god loves all of us and that our human journey here on this planet is always there's meaning in it and no matter what we suffer what pain we go through no matter what our fears are etc um we're meant to overcome them we're meant to triumph we're meant to figure things out to resolve conflicts and challenges within ourselves and around ourselves as time goes on increasingly and it's a it's a, a journey of growth a journey of growth of wisdom of experiences of joy even while we're dealing with as the buddha would say the suffering of life so coming back full circle to jupiter and gemini just recognizing the limits of the human brain is so essential during this time period and not trying to have an answer for everything in fact the exact opposite to find i mean don't get me wrong this energy is making us very curious and learning things and more knowledge and more conversations and all that and that's great but um at a certain point the brain reaches a, a dead end where and that's really where spirituality takes over that's where emotional uh the, the realm of the emotions takes over and um, I just want to encourage you to definitely enjoy the Jupiter and Gemini boon to our thinking and all of the, the activity that's going on in the brain, especially at a time like now with all this other energy. But know the limits too. Know when it's time to... That's what I recommend anyways, you know. I'm not trying to tell people what to do. But it's really wise to know when... The brain just does not know <laughs> and the brain thinks it can know and it can figure it out but you know that's the mystery of consciousness the mystery of our existence here on this planet is at a certain point we have to at a certain point it's natural and it's really beneficial for us to return to spiritual source and for me you know i use the word god without hesitation i know some people may not see that they may be atheist or whatever and that's totally fine i'm not again to here to whatever but um, my experience is spiritually is we are part of God. God loves us. Um, and we are meant to be guided by God through this human experience. We always are guided whether we realize it or not. And there is meaning there is overall, um, patterns to our lives that we can understand and figure out as well as to ourselves as well as to the universe in general and um, it's not always easy sometimes it's horrifically difficult but uh, we can rely on our spirituality and our, our our emotions to get through in fact, we have to because at a certain point, the mind just breaks. It goes in circles and then we overthink things. And that was a lot of where I was yesterday. Not that it was like so difficult what I've been going through. Just just, uh, just been going through a lot of mental energy on the greatest ways and the greatest ways and then some challenging ways as well, just with overthinking, with anxiety and stuff. So I just wanted to share that. Um, anything else on that? I think I just want to share, you know, the mantra that came to me is just guide me, God. 
guide me, God. Just guide me. <laughs> just, I, I seek to just be in the flow of the universe. And um, that's been extremely helpful for me to calm down my, my brain. Um, so hope that helps. And, um, and again, conditions are going to lighten up for, I mean, Libra is an air energy, so it is very much cerebral as well and, and very brain oriented. I think there's going to be a lot of talking this weekend, a lot of conversations between people, but at the same time, it's not quite as getting caught in the brain. I would say as the last couple of days have been where it's just like, you're stuck on something, you're going in circles with it. And I, yeah, you know, that's, that's a, that's a challenging place to be anyways. Infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. Peace.